Hey guys, Rowan here again, and today I'm going to be going through the importance of your trading platform. And quite frankly, you can't become a profitable trader unless you're using a professional level trading platform. Now, I don't want you to think that this is some sort of secret trading software or anything like that. It's just that most trading platforms out there don't allow you to see the very things that as professional traders we need to see, and that's really the buying and selling that's going on beneath the market. And as you already know, we call this the order book. And there are some very specific parts of the order book that we need to be able to identify and see. Otherwise, we can't do what we're trying to do. And whilst the order book is available on a whole, a whole host of different trading platforms, and these days it is a pretty standard part of most uh, trading software packages, and at the end of the day, there's only really a couple that we can use that are going to have all the elements that we need. So firstly, what are the things that we actually need in a trading platform that allow us to make money? Well, the first thing is that we need to have a depth of market to begin with. So this is the, the entire order book. We need to be able to access this, and not all trading platforms necessarily do, but um, most good ones do. However, we really need this to be what's called a static DOM. So that means that the market moves up and down, but the price levels all stay constant. So whilst some trading platforms do have depth of market uh, accessibility, they're not static. So that's the first thing we need to make sure we have. The second thing that we really need to be able to see is this on the right hand side, which is called the volume profile or the volume of price. It might even be called the market profile in some instances. And Basically what it is, it's just showing the accumulation of all the contracts or all the stocks or whatever it is that we're trading that have traded at that price level. So what this kind of histogram is, is it's showing us exactly that. So we can see that a few contracts have traded here, a few more have traded here, and actually this far, uh, this many contracts have traded at this price level, and just a few, a few there. Now this is obviously just a market that's only just recently opened, so there's not much going on. And that volume profile can be represented either by uh, a histogram like this, or it can actually be physical numbers. Either way, it's fine. It's really a personal preference, but you just need to be able to see that. Um, secondly, we need to be able to see the actual orders that are taking place. And what the good trading platforms do is they don't just show you each individual trade, because if you think about it, it could be just one lot's being executed, and it could be just one, then two, then three, and that's all you would see. What you're actually see, seeing here is basically a running total. So we know that 71 contracts have traded uh, before the price has changed kind of thing. So why that's important is that we're going to get a real good overview of how many contracts are trading at that price. And that really forms the heart of what we're doing because we're trying to find where a lot of contracts are trading at either the bid or the offer and we want to see far more contracts trade than the number that is effectively sitting on the bid so if in this example here we see the offer is 507 if there's a huge amount of contracts that trade at this level and this histogram grows and grows and maybe two and a half thousand trade there we know that there's someone sitting there with a sell order executing trades and that's more than likely going to be a, a big uh, a big trader. And that's going to then effectively absorb all those buy orders and until they, we get that price imbalance and price is then going to sell off because all those buyers have been absorbed by the big seller. And that's what the power of this trading platform allows us to do. So they're the two key things that we really need. We need the volume uh, at each price level called the volume profile. And we need to be able to see that these orders are uh, getting accumulated. So they're very important. And there's a third thing that we can use, which is really very handy, and it's called the Q position. So EPIQ stands for Estimated Position in the Q. And when you enter a limit order, it not only shows you that you're there, it'll also show you where you are in the Q. So the great thing is that we that's another way we can get an edge, because if we're at the front of the Q and there's say a thousand people behind us, that means there's a very good chance that we're going to get a really great price and there's actually going to be already some buyers there ready to go to help push that price up. And that's one way that traders can make a, a few ticks here and there pretty easily just by getting good queue position and working orders. 
So that's a really handy tool to have. Now, the way the estimated position in the queue actually kind of works comes down to the different exchanges. And it's not always a matter of being the first in and the first out. There's a few variations of that. But by and large, it's a good way of thinking about it. You know, if you can get your orders in early, then you can get a pretty good position in the queue and it's going to give you a chance to get a better price, a better fill and make some short term money. So that's why all these elements are really important. And there's not too many trading platforms that actually have all the elements that we need. But the good news is that there are a few and they're pretty cheap and we can get started using a demo today. So for most people, there are really three options that I would kind of consider. So TT is called Trading Technologies and they have a platform called Xtrader and that's been around for years and it's been probably the, the industry standard for many years. It used to be very, very expensive but now they've actually come out and released a web version and I think you can get the web version for around $50 a month and that's you know a pretty great deal. So you still get all the access to most of the tools that you're going to need and it's, it's a really great product and you can get started with a free demo and I'm going to take you through how to do that next as well. So that's probably the first place to start. Another really great product is called Jigsaw Trading and if any of you guys are familiar with Ninja Trader, this is kind of like an add-on or a, a special indicator, I think they call it in Ninja Trader, but it, this is just an add-on and that's around the same sort of price. It's about $50 a month and it's going to allow you to do all the same things and even a few more. And uh, Jigsaw is a pretty good option for a lot of people. It's run by a really great guy called Peter Davies. Um, I'd certainly have a look at that. And if you wanted to uh, get maybe down the line, get started with that, it might cost you a few hundred dollars to set up. I can't actually recall how much it is off the top of my head, but it's well worth a look. And the third one is called CQG. And CQG was probably one of the best, you oh know, all-encompassing products for spread traders it has charts it has depth of market um, it's a pretty high-end product which costs around fifteen hundred dollars a month they do have a, a newish kind of uh, depth of market which is just kind of a simplified version that has the order book and everything that we need and it's called q trader so that might also be a pretty good option i think it's probably around the same price point of about fifty dollars per month well worth a look um, I'm going to show you how to set up TT Xtrader because we can do that in five minutes and get you guys up and going on a demo and that's the main thing because at this point it doesn't really matter what platform we're using necessarily, we just want to be making sure that you guys are all getting to know the depth of market and getting a real feel for it. So that's what I'm going to do next, get you all set up and ready to go.